When task steps are configured for a K2 workflow, developers can assign individual users and groups that come in from Active Directory or another user manager as recipients. The issue you may run into with directly assigning or hard coding users to workflow tasks is that whenever you need to change a recipient, you will have to edit the workflow, change recipients, and then redeploy it back to the K2 environment. This can become a challenge, especially when employees rotate in and out of being responsible for tasks in a workflow. Multiply that by several other workflows in your environment, add in strict change control policies for production application changes, and the maintenance can get out of control. Something like an Active Directory group can help in this situation. However, you may not have access to add users in and out of those groups without waiting for help from a network administrator in your organization. K2 has a solution for this called K2 Roles. Now, a K2 role provides you with a way to assign users to a role grouping, which is basically a group you can define in the K2 management site. You can add users or groups from various user managers defined in your environment, then turn around and use the role as a recipient inside your workflow. Let's flip over to the management site where we can take a look at how this works. To add a K2 role into your environment, open up the Users option on the left side of the Management Site page in the menu and select Roles. To add a new role, click the New button. On this window, you can name the role, add a description, then search for users and groups from any of the user managers configured in your environment. I'll take a moment to drive this home. Let's walk through a quick scenario. I have an expense claim workflow that needs to send an approval task to the finance department if expenses go above a certain dollar amount. My network administrator is pretty busy, so I'm going to create a K2 role to handle this task assignment in my K2 environment. I'll name this role Finance. Then I'll add Dennis and Norman to the role as members. By searching for and adding them to the members list, they will receive the finance approval task when it's assigned to this role in the workflow. From here, I'll click OK to save these changes back to K2. Then we can move over to K2 Designer. And here I have the workflow open to the Finance Task Step Recipients tab. To set this to the new K2 role, we can click on the drop down arrow for the recipient slot switch it to role, then search for the finance K2 role and select it. At this point, this group will now receive tasks for this step in the workflow once it's deployed.